Pets Crew, where we celebrate local pets across the area, get their pet pics on TV. Those will be a couple in uh, from this one right here. All right, first up this morning, we have Zer and Major. Tim in Woodland Park sent this one in. These dogs are not alive anymore, but they used to be police dogs in Houston. How cool is that? Really awesome. You have two of them, and I know that's something that people look forward to. Like once they retire their dogs with law enforcement, having them just at home, you know, as they're they're just pets. They're not working anymore. Yes, they get a nice little retirement. They do. Yes. Next up this morning, we have Rocky, and you know what, Megan? This you would wear this, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is something that I might put on to watch the Super Bowl tonight. <laughs> a nice little snuggie, right? This uh, photo was sent in from Cheryl and Corky, and this obviously is Rocky sporting her little uh, snuggie. Welcome to the crew to Rocky. Next up this morning, we have Romeo getting all fancy on us this morning. Romeo is a little husky dog, and uh, this one was sent in from Bonnie in Colorado Springs. And this dog, like you said, serving a little sass with the legs crossed there. Oh, yeah. Got no problem showing some sass on this Super Bowl Sunday. Next up this morning, we have Cheech the Chameleon. This one sent in from Vince in Colorado Springs. This I thought was so funny. It reminds me of, uh, you know, of course, the uh, Super Bowl commercials with the little chameleon. I can't wait to see the commercials this year. And, you know, like like they said earlier, the best ones are the ones with animals because people just love, love a good, cute animal. They sure do. Hopefully we'll see plenty of those during the Super Bowl today. Next up this morning, we have Hunter. This one was sent in from uh, Frank and Cheryl in Pueblo. The caption of this one was, they were headed to a Super Bowl party. Hunter wearing his Broncos orange, despite the fact they aren't even in the Super Bowl. But I, I'm the same way. Rock that orange today. Yeah, you know, real fans, they never deviate from, from rocking the colors. But, you know, I think there are a lot of bandwagon Patriot fans out there. Yeah, and speaking of that, here we go. Speaking of that Patriots fan, we got Gomez. Going for the Patriots today. This one's in from John in Pueblo. Oh, so cute. I Look at know. this little jersey. It's cute. Got a jersey there. And then we also have another dog in a Patriots jersey, Mr. T. This one also sent in from John in Pueblo. No surprise. As you can see, even Dad there in the picture has the Patriots shirt on very proudly. Looks like a toy dog here. It does. It doesn't even look like a what real animal. What size is this? But like a, like a tiny XXX this small one. This would fit on my Chester's ear. Yeah, something like that. Next up this morning, we have Tango also going for the Patriots here in Colorado. This one was sent in from War uh, Ray in Woodland Park. Nice little hat there. Tango doesn't even mind that the hat's right on his head, does he? Definitely not. Looks oh. comfy there. Yes. And this is how we're ending it today. This is awesome. This is a local horse here in town in Callahan. It's a Clydesdale. Drake's sent in from Hike. Very awesome to see this photo because it's Super Bowl Sunday. We have Clydesdales in our backyard. So hopefully you enjoyed this segment, Chester's Crew. If you got a photo you'd like to share with us, go to fox21news.com slash Chester's Crew because we would love to see your team spirit on your pet. That's right. You still have all afternoon to get them to us. So share them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Be sure to share all those photos today. We would love to see them. Your time.